Welcome back. The Bolts, as you know, have to win tonight to keep their chances of bringing the Stanley Cup back to Tampa. The trophy spends most of the year traveling, and earlier this week I had a chance to talk with the keeper of the cup, who has a stamped passport unlike anyone. Well, the, the, obviously the Lightning have had the cup now for the past two seasons. I would say this is a little bit subjective, but where's the most interesting place it's been now over the past two seasons? Well, you know, it's funny, Jameson, as, as we've spoke over the last couple of years, during the pandemic, the first time they won the cup, a lot of the events were in Tampa and on the Bay itself, uh, respecting all the guidelines and rules and regulations that not only the city had, the team had, the state had, the country had. So those celebrations were unique. Last year, we got the opportunity to take it back to pretty well every guy in their hometown. Uh, there were some real exciting events. There were some real powerful events. I think we did uh, we did right across Canada, right across U.S. Went into Russia for the three guys, Czech, Slovakia, and then up to northern Sweden for Hedman. So we were six countries. It, it was a good tour last year, uh, and I, I think the most unique part about it is the guys are so honored and thrilled to bring it home and to thank their parents or their grandparents or their first coach, their uh, teachers, their buddies. The guy that helped them tie his skates or clean the ice off, whatever it is, it, it's they understand the team is much more than the guys on the ice. And regardless of what team wins, everybody knows that it takes a whole city to build an athlete and, and they take it back and they thank all of them. And I think that is so special. And it's I'm honored and thrilled every time I'm, I'm part of one. Yeah, your passport certainly has been stamped so many times and all over the world. That is for sure. Hey, you I didn't know that think the, I brought uh, it out here. I, I thought I didn't show you. It's uh, it's almost time for another one. It is right. Well, we know uh, the cup got damaged just a little bit, as as tends to happen. Uh, yeah. How do you get all those uh, those dents out when that happens? Well, I, I think first of all, if if we step back a bit, when you and I are 130, like the Stanley Cup is, if we look as good as it does, we'll be doing okay. Uh, but you know what? It, it happens sometimes. It, it's it's awful uh, for when it happens. It's and it's always accidental. What whoever the player or the uh, personnel that's with it feels terrible because it's it's part of history. They've worked so hard to win that, and it, it did get damaged last year at uh, right after the parade before the celebration continued. Uh, fortunately, we have some great silversmiths. We had some great guys around the the uh, city and that that helped us get it secure and, and get it on its way. And it was back in action before we knew it. Uh, I think if it could talk, it could probably share a lot of stories on what some of those dents and scratches are. Uh, unfortunately, today, Jameson, you get me. You can't. That doesn't talk. <laughs> exactly. Oh, boy. Well, hey, Phil Pritchard, keeper of the cup. We certainly enjoy that uh, that you've joined us here for just a little bit today. I know that uh, that you're kind of waiting and under lock and key but we certainly know that uh, lord stanley needs to keep his son tan so hopefully we're gonna we're gonna keep you here for just a little bit longer because we've appreciated having you here over the past two seasons phil thank you so much hey no problem and hopefully we'll see you soon and man what a cool job to have too unbelievable and <laughs> phil has some stories let me tell you i can imagine all right so the bolts are really trying to stay alive tonight and keep their historic run and they will likely go down as one of the best teams in nhl history yeah undoubtedly there abc action news reporter eric waxel looks at just how special their accomplishments are seconds ticking off tampa bay wins this run that this team is on i hope fans cherish it because they don't come along they just don't. Three straight Stanley Cup titles. It's happened five times, but no one's done it since the New York Islanders won four straight starting in 1980. To get some historical perspective on what the Bolts are doing, we talked with Eric Erlinson, who runs lightninginsider.com. Not even the Edmonton Oilers won three cups in a row. They won four in five years, but there's that one year in the middle that those Gretzky, Messier, Anderson, Yari Curry teams didn't win the cup. So what the Lightning have already accomplished is among some of the greatest runs in, in NHL playoff history. No one will probably ever do what the Montreal Canadiens did starting in 1956, winning the cup five straight years. But that was back when there were only six teams in the NHL. There have been three peats in other sports. In baseball, the Yankees did it three times, the Oakland A's once. In basketball, Michael Jordan's Bulls and the Shaq and Kobe Lakers did it too. In the NFL, the Packers completed three-peats in 1931 and 1967. 
Now with four wins against Colorado, the Lightning will have hit dynasty status. The fact that they've made it to three straight Stanley Cups in a salary cap era, and they're the first team to ever do it since the league went to a best of seven for every single round. So their, their historical perspective, and sometimes it's hard when you're in the middle of it, but their historical perspective right now is already among some of the greats to ever, uh, great teams to ever go through the playoffs. Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Well, puck drop is less than 15 minutes away. And we do want to get some predictions for tonight's game five, but Kevin, first we have a bone to pick with you. Been getting some uh, phone calls. A little bit concerned with yeah. your prediction. Yeah. People are not pleased. Yeah, you, you may want to reconsider is, is what the guy <laughs> said on the phone. So we're giving you another chance. <laughs> oh, he's not changing his mind. It's now the Kyle Hi. Berger Show. But, but, but before, before we get to predictions, we have a little bit of breaking news. The Lightning have just taken the ice for pregame warm-ups. Anthony Sorelli and Eric Chernak are in. However, Braden Point is not on the ice, so he is out tonight for Game 5. So Riley Nash back in uniform for the Lightning, joined by Anthony Richard. If you're a Syracuse Crunch fan, you'll have Anthony Richard's number 47 jersey. He'll be on the ice 25 years old. Why not write a fairy tale? Uh, so now we get back to those pesky predictions. That has not changed my prediction, the Anthony Richard in. I still like the Lightning 3-2. to two. They have uh, done... They've won back-to-back -back Stanley Cup. I think they still have that fight. That mentality is, I mean, they're still the champs. you got to beat the champs. And I, I think they can get it done one more time, take this back to Tampa. I have a 52-48, leaning slightly toward the avalanche because I, I'm going to walk in. I'm going to put the shoe on the other foot. If the Lightning had a 3-1 lead going back home with history on the line, I'd say there's no way the Lightning would lose. I would say it was a bigger margin. I think this Avalanche team might be the team to do it. This is the best team that they've played in the playoffs in each of the last three postseason. So we'll see. Like I said in uh, Crash of the Boards, prove me wrong. Yeah, the and Lightning are going to throw everything they have yeah. at them tonight at Darcy Kemper. So lots of shots. Hopefully some power play goals tonight. Yeah. Enjoy Game 5, everybody. That's Kyle Berger. I am Kevin Lewis for Quest for the Cup. Stick around.